guys, yours truly, Kevin Grace. I am here in my hometown of Baltimore, Maryland. It is July the 5th, 2020. Last night, around 8.30, there was a, a gathering of protesters, uh, kids, white kids mostly, all of them wearing bandanas, and it was just a matter of time that this statue behind, well, where the statue used to be, of Christopher Columbus came tumbling down and it's thrown into the water over there which I'll take you to in a second. Over the past several weeks different Columbus statues have been vandalized in Boston the one there was beheaded uh, the one in, in uh, Richmond Virginia several weeks ago was taken down and thrown into a river so I knew that something was going to happen to this one eventually and uh, especially with the tension happening nowadays with Confederate statues and the past several years with the disdain about Christopher Columbus that he didn't discover America, but he did bring genocide to the Americas. Right here, this statue, uh, uh, I guess it's made out of, uh, it's not exactly marble, but maybe limestone or whatever. Uh, same material like this base is made of is what the statue was. I do have a picture of the statue that I'll post later on my Facebook page, but here it is right here behind this gate. And uh, if you go on, um, video and look up there was kids they knocked down the statue and put a rope around its neck and dragged it down these steps over here as you can see it big bang you see that powder there down these steps and you can see it chipped the uh, steps being brought down here and there was a lady said that part of it started falling apart and you can see the track marks going into the water and you see the blue rope and some people are looking uh at the destruction of what happened but it is submerged in the water over here and uh it's down below but uh this is interesting it's right here this is down at the bottom there is the statue submerged underwater but uh like I said, with 4th of July going on last night, a lot of things going on. And you can see the Italian flag surrounding it. So, wow. So it's another thing that uh, has been vandalized and destroyed. So Little Italy is right across the way over here. And I think from what I understand, they were talking about taking it, having it taken down and put into a, uh, a museum. But uh, a little bit too late for that. But uh, anyway, if you like this video, please subscribe down below and feel free to leave any comments. There is one more um, monument dedicated to Christopher Columbus here in Baltimore. It's uh, in a place called Hines Park, and that's off of um, Wather Avenue and Harford Road. And it's not a particular statue, but it's more of a, a bellisk and... Um, I know back in 2017, that got a, a little bit of vandalism. The placard on the side got um, hit with a um, sledgehammer, and um, they were talking about one of the councilmen of maybe renaming that, uh, dedicating that to a different purpose, but uh, there's a lot of anti-Columbus uh, stuff happening, so I won't be surprised that if the Columbus Day in uh, this October coming up will be called Indigenous Day like it is in several other cities in the U.S., but we'll find out. Anyway, reporting from Little Italy area here in Baltimore off of President Street, it's Kevin Grace.